having a consistent agricultural policy by, by the federal government, whether it's U.S. government or any country's government, to where agriculture can, can develop and thrive under in an in a environment that they know they're going to have reliable markets, reliable regulation, and just some reliable future. I think the biggest challenge is going to be water supplies in the future. Um, we're already starting to see limitations for both agricultural and landscape uh, uh, water supplies. There's other cultural issues, environmental issues, and certainly political issues. So, uh, you know, they say that, you know, what has it go that uh, alcohol is for drinking and water is for fighting. And I think that's what we're going to see is a, a lot of challenges out there in the future because of the limitations on, on water. The biggest challenge uh, that we face is feeding the world. Uh, by 2050, uh, the population is going to expand exponentially and uh, there's, there's a lot of mouths to feed and, and there's only so much land to produce crops. So I think feeding the world is going to be the big, uh, uh, big issue. I think uh, opportunity, I think, is the, the first word that comes into my mind. Food, fiber, fuel, I think of the future. Soil. Precision. I think of precision management. Crops come to my mind just because I grew up on a farm. The importance of internships is great. Uh, just at the brunch this morning, I spoke with a guy that worked for Helena. He said that over 80% of their new hires come from their internship program. So uh, I think it's invaluable to be part of an internship before you get out of college. You make contacts, meet with people in the industry, and uh, you can learn a wealth of knowledge just from doing an internship. I think the importance of internships is that the, the students uh, have an opportunity to see uh, you know, uh, on the ground type of things that they're going to experience when they are out in the cold, cruel world and uh, trying to uh, you know, have a job, find a job, that sort of thing. So they get to really see early on in their career what the, the companies or, or whoever they work for expect in, in, uh, in an employee. And uh, just I think just the opportunities that they have uh, for, for employment. Some of the biggest attributes that we look for uh, in looking for candidates is uh, the leadership skills. We're looking for good, strong leadership as well as communication skills. Individuals that have the ability to communicate with all different levels of individuals, producers, you know, suppliers, as well as uh, even even the finance side of the business. So those are some of the attributes that we're looking for uh, in quality candidates for our business. Some of the skills and experience that we're looking for at Helena uh, for our locations is really individuals that have a good strong background in agronomy uh, and have a good solid internship experience underneath their, their belt by the time they leave their undergraduate program. So whether that's with our company or another retail company or a basic manufacturer company, we're looking for students to have those internship experiences that can bring us uh, some of those different and unique perspectives to our business. Growing up through 4-H and FFA, I've always had a passion for agriculture. I grew up showing dairy cattle, judging corn, judging soils. My future is with agriculture and I've just always had a passion for it. Well, I grew up in the country, although not on a farm. Uh, and as a, a youngster, I worked on farms, in fact, all the way through college. And became interested in, in actually farming as a profession. When I started at Michigan State University and uh, began getting interested in the science, I switched my idea to become a PhD agricultural scientist. Never looked back and have enjoyed every minute of it. I enjoy the ag industry because I feel like it's really applicable to society today, that it's something that people really need. Is I saw today the population is going to be 7 billion by the end of October and everybody's got to eat. The main reason that I enjoy agriculture is because we can take the most basic of science and use it to, to solve applied type problems that uh, you can immediately see the benefit from. Why do I enjoy the ag industry? Because I get to interact with so many different people. Uh, agriculture is kind of cross-cutting. Uh, you, you meet every different kind of person imaginable and there's always something new and exciting going on and it's just a great energetic place to work.